Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. We honor you. We give you praise. Hallelujah. A hey, glory to God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you honor today. We thank you, Lord, for your love and your mercy. We thank you for your loving kindness towards us, Jesus. Thank you for this, another day, Lord Jesus, that you have brought us through, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. It is by your grace and your grace alone, O oh God, while we are not consumed. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Because you first love us. Hallelujah. And gave your life for us, Jesus. Die on Calvary's cross, dear Jesus. The agony, the pain. Hallelujah, Jesus. And we just want to say thank you. Oh God, hallelujah. As we stand here, oh God Almighty, we lift the wonderful name of Jesus on high. It is the greatest name. It's the healing name. It's the delivering name. It's the saving name. Hallelujah. The scripture said that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ he is Lord. Hallelujah. We worship you today. Hallelujah. And we give you thanks, oh God, for life and for health and for strength. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for looking beyond all our faults and seeing our needs, Lord Jesus. We are so undeserving. Hallelujah. Oh God, but we see the grace and the mercies of God extended towards us every morning, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody says, morning by morning, new mercies I see. All that I have needed, thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness. God, we pray, oh God, even now, hallelujah, for, oh God, for your mercy to be extended towards us, oh God. We pray for healing in our bodies. Oh God, we pray, oh God, for you to sustain us in our minds, oh God. Hallelujah. Help us not doubt in times like this. Uh, hallelujah. Help us not, oh God, to get weary. Hallelujah. In well-doing in times like this. Help us, oh God, hallelujah, to look up. Hallelujah. Because somebody says that our redemption draw it nigh, dear God. Now is not the time to be afraid. Hallelujah, Jesus. But to lift our eyes uh, unto the hills from whence uh, come at our help. Our help. Uh, Come it from the Lord God who made the heavens and the earth. I will not fear. I will not doubt. Hallelujah, Jesus. For David said, Yea, though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Ah, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, it comforts me. Hallelujah, Jesus. So we thank you today. We pray for everyone that's at home, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Whether they're on quarantine, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Or, oh God, just simply, hallelujah, unable to come out. Hallelujah. We pray, oh God, that you will inspire them right now. Touch their bodies right now. Move upon their spirit right now. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Ghost be felt right now in the name of Jesus. God, we give you glory. We give you honor and we give you praise. Uh, revive us, God. Uh, hallelujah. When the world, uh, hallelujah, is going around without hope. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Let us rejoice uh, and be exceeding glad. Uh, oh, God, for our reward is in heaven. Uh, hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. Uh, let everybody say thank you, Jesus. Uh, come on, let everybody say thank you, Jesus. Uh, come on, let everybody say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Certainly this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice uh, and be glad in it. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise be to God. We're going to start off, hallelujah, by singing this song. It says, revive us again. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Said we praise thee, O God. For the Son of my love, for Jesus who died and is now God above, hallelujah, thy glory, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, hey. 
you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, what a wonder you are. You are brighter than the morning star.
burning Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, everyone, in the precious name of Jesus. I'm Sister Paula, and I'm here with the announcements. Yesterday was Bishop's 91st birthday. Also, today is Palm Sunday. At 2 p.m. later today, the primary class will be having Sunday school via FaceTime. Wednesday at 8 p.m., we're having our church-wide prayer call. On Friday at 7 o'clock, we will be having youth prayer. At 7.30, we'll be having men's prayer. At 8, we'll be having ladies' prayer. Also, if you'd like to give, you can give online at our website, truewitnessfl.org, on the online giving tab. Keep connected. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. We are here today to bring to you the word of the Lord. We're so glad that we can bring this word to you in the confinement of your homes. Some of you may be on the job and you are able to watch this message today. I pray that this word will be a blessing to your soul. Bishop is going to deliver a word to bless you today. God bless you. Let's praise the Lord today. Let us give God thanks. Being in his house, it's a wonderful day. And we give the Lord thanks and praise for his goodness. Let me greet Pastor McCoy, Evangelist McCoy, and all you wonderful people in the house of the Lord today. It's a pleasure to be here in such a time like this. And we want to bless the Lord. I want to encourage you today that you will stay under the blood. Don't be shaken because the Lord is coming very soon. And uh, we have to be ready at any moment. So the Lord is preparing his people to meet him. It's not a time for us to be panicked, but it's a time for us to draw nearer unto the Lord. And those who are on the media, I greet you likewise in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me bring a word of comfort to you today from the word of God from Esther chapter 4 and I'm going to read you from verse 12 and they told to Mordecai Esther word and Esther commanded to answer and Mordecai commanded to answer Esther think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the Jews for if thou all together hold thy peace at this time, there shall enlarge and the excuse me, for if thou all to if thou all together hold less thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from an other place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who knoweth whither thou art come to the kingdom for such a time like this? The Esther for this time that we are going through now is the church of Jesus Christ. The world is confused because we are in a confused age. And the things that are happening it is something to really look to but what is the cause of it it is that men has gone from God and God want to bring that men to let men know that he is in control therefore the condition that are on the earth today is not a condition for you to run from for you cannot run from it it's a condition for you to run to the Lord. In other words, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Paul in the scripture to the Thessalonians, he said, but of the time and season, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. 
for yourself know it that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. It don't say that the Lord is coming a thief. He said, as a thief. For no man know when the thief will come. The condition that we are going on to now, no man knew it was coming. But those who really read their Bibles, those who study their Bible, we know that perilous times shall come. And Jesus warned his disciples over in St. Uh, Matthew chapter 24, and the disciples want to know what will be the signs of his coming. And Jesus said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For there is going to be false prophet and antichrist from everywhere, rising from everywhere. And the scripture has been fulfilled. We have never had more antichrist more than today. Every turn you turn, this one of a prophecy, that one of a prophecy, but fail to realize it is Jesus Christ alone of the answer for every man. And what is the answer? The answer is that you are called to repentance. This is a condition. Lot was in Sodom when the angel of the Lord went there. And uh, when they send out Lot to one his children, they forsook or forsake the, with the, the words of Lot. And so the wrath of God destroys Sodom. Before every judgment, God always have a word for men that they can check upon their life. Before the antediluvian world, God used Noah. And the Bible stated that for 120 years, Noah been building the ark. And people take it as joke. But there was a day, finally, when the flood came. They want to go into the ark, but the ark door was closed. Notice something very serious there. God did not give Noah the key. God locked the ark himself and locked in Noah. For maybe Noah would be in sympathy with those who are crying, especially when the mothers lift the babies. Maybe Noah would open the ark door and the flood would come in. So the Noah of today or the ark of today is the church of Jesus Christ. All men is called to run into the church. The door is open. And how can I get into to the church? It is by repentance and baptism in the name of Jesus Christ with the infilling of the Holy Ghost, living a righteous, a sober, and a godly life. And if you are living like that, at any moment, you can look and be prepared. You won't have to be afraid. You won't have to be confused for you are watching and you are waiting. One songwriter said, I'm watching, I'm waiting for that grand millennium day when our blessed Lord shall come and take his chosen ones away. He said, oh, my heart is filled with rapture as I labor, watch and pray for our Lord is coming back to earth again. Let me say Jesus is coming back to earth again. But he's not coming back to die. He has already died and laid the plan of salvation for every man. He said, come unto me, all he that labored and every laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me, for I am meek and lowly. And you shall find rest for your soul. I'm encouraging everyone today that you will look to your life. Check on your life. Have you been in the heart? It is the church of Jesus Christ. Have you been baptized in Jesus' name? Have you received the Holy Ghost? Speaking in tongues? Are you living a sober, a righteous, and a godly life? Now is the time. 
The whole now is the day of salvation. Tomorrow you may call, but it might be too late. God bless you. Please bow your head at this time as I pray. Father, our God, which art in heaven, we love you. We honor your name. We give you thanks. In this time, Lord, I'm praying to you. I'm asking you, Lord, oh God, that you will turn the hearts of men to you. And that you will help men to realize this is a warning. We don't know when, but you're coming soon. You will soon take your church away. Oh God, stir the hearts of your people everywhere. Awaken your, your creation that men will realize I must turn from my sin. I must seek the Lord before it is too late. May God bless your soul and ever keep and direct you because it's coming soon in such a time like this. God bless you.